Hi right, everybody, today we're going to do an Excel tutorial video on the AND function, just focusing on the AND function. So I've made a real uh, clear and simple example here that should drive home when you should use the function and how to use it. Okay, so here as we can read, this in this example, only if a student passes all tests is he or she successful. So here we have three tests and here under each uh, in each row each row represents a student so in this row <coughs> this student passed the first test passed the second test but did not pass the third test so in this case this student is would not be successful so we would get a no here we would want a, a no there right and in the second uh, student second example here passed the first test pass the second test, pass the third test, and only then will this person be successful. Okay? So, that's the idea, and now we're going to use the AND function, because the AND function <coughs> will take multiple logical tests, and if all of the tests are true, then, and only then, will it return a true statement. And if any of them is false, it will return a false statement. So, we'll work through it. So here, instead of just looking at this and saying, uh, no, this person was not successful because they failed one test, we're going to actually write a function so that then we can just simply drag it down. <coughs> okay, and the function we're going to use, of course, is and. So in that cell, equals and. We open the parentheses, and now we just have to do a series of logical tests separated by commas. So the first test, will start with test one. Staying on this row, we want to see if cell B6 equals, in quotations, yes. That would mean uh, this person passed test 1. The second test, in cell C6, does this equal yes. That would mean they passed test 2. <coughs> the third test, in cell D6, does this person, does this test equal yes, right? And we only have three things to test here, so we can close the parentheses as we're done. And so basically, before we hit enter, let's look at it again. We are testing for this row whether cell B6 equals yes, whether cell C6 equals yes, and whether cell D6 equals yes. If all three of these equal yes, the AND function, if all three of these is true, the AND function will return a true, and if any one of these tests is false, then the AND function will return a false. So here we expect it to be false because we have one test over here, namely cell D6, equal does not equal yes, and so we get a false. Now the next line, let's see what happens. We get a true. That's because all three of our tests, the way we put the tests in to the AND function, we're satisfied. C, uh, B7 is, tr is true, C7 is true, and D7 is true. So then and only then do we get a true. So we could drag this all the way down by grabbing the bottom right hand corner and we see we have mostly falses here and in all these cases where there's a false we see there's one test, at least one test that that person failed. See here, the first line, they passed, they failed two tests. Here they failed the test two, here they failed the first test, here they failed first, uh, the second and third test, and here they failed the first and third. And in the case where there's uh, a true, in other words, the person was successful, we see that they passed all tests which has to be true. Okay? So, this was a, a, a focused example on the AND function. Usually this function comes up in the situations where you want to have a multiple te a logical tests and then usually you nest this function within an IF function to get something other than uh, just false or true. Um, so, this is a definite, definite building block and foundation for something more complicated which uh, there is a subsequent video called the nested and function
which you should check out, which now takes this AND function and incorporates it inside an IF function and uh, it does some interesting things. Okay? I hope this was uh, clear and useful. Make sure you comment, subscribe, favorite, like, and share my videos. Until next time, have a great day.